Hello everybody, I'm Harold. And I'm Chloe, and we're Nature's Friends. Today we're going to take a twist on things and show you how to repair an electric water heater. Because it's winter time and we can't be outside gardening. And we're bored to death, so we just figured we'd share this with y'all. With an electric water heater, what you want to do is if you all of a sudden have runaway hot water, we call it, the water gets extremely hot. So then, you don't have any hot water, so then Chloe's going to tell you what you look for. So you go wherever your electric water heater is, and you're going to want to take the panel off. Make sure you turn it off at the breaker, and then you, pr you look at the reset button. And then if the reset button is right here, and you just push that reset button, and if it clicks, then it's, then it's tripped. But if it's not, we use a meter, and you check. Which you got, you got the power off, but before, then you turn the power on and make sure. I got don't amps. Make sure you have 246 volts. Okay. Then you got that. Then you go back and turn the water heater off at the panel box. Then, okay, your bottom thermostat, if this is tripped, is normally the problem because that's stuck. So then Chloe's going to show you the bottom thermostat. This is the bottom thermostat and these are the two screws that the wires go on. And it has to be set at 120 which is how hot your water is. And then <clears throat> that should make your water back work again. But if it doesn't, your element could be bad. And then to check an element, you take the wires off of it, the power is off, and you take your meter and you put it on ohms. And you put it on the element. And if it shows no resistance, the little buzzer goes off or the needle goes all the way over, that means the element's good. So then that element would be okay. But if the element is bad, it's just like doing this. It doesn't read anything at all because the element's open. So then you would just take, and we have a little wrench. You have to drain the water heater. You turn it off up here so the water's not coming in. And then you go and open up a hot water spigot in your house, up above it, and let the water drain. And you hook a water hose to this faucet right here, and you take it outside, and you unscrew this, and that drains your water heater. Then this little wrench fits right over top of the element. Can we hold that? This is what an element looks like. And you put this over the element, and you just unscrew it. And then you just take and stick a screwdriver in this, and you get all this stuff at your local home center, the thermostat, the elements, and the tool, and then that unscrews the element. Make sure the water's out, otherwise the water runs out of the hole. So then you put that back in, and you put your wires back on it, and then you got your water heaters repaired for your element. Okay, this is where your elements are. You got one on the top and one on the bottom. So you take your meter and you check it and then you've got 220 volts coming to it. This is how you set your, your thermostat for your top. If you want to check your top element, you just turn this up higher. You turn this up higher, it takes the power off your bottom thermostat and sends it back to your top. So then this element's going to show power. So then if you, this element is bad, you check it with your meter. Okay, if it's not your bottom thermostat or an element, this is your top thermostat. This is the one with the reset button on it. And what this switch does is it allows the power to go to the top element. Then when the bottom element, this one's satisfied, then it goes to the bottom element. Then when, then when this one gets overheated is when the reset goes out. Make sure it always set on 120. And then this one just slides right in. You have more wires to hook up. But always just hook the wires up just like you come off the old one. Now that we've done all this, you turn the water back on to the water heater. Then you go upstairs to a faucet and turn the hot water faucet on, which has probably already been on because you had it open when you were draining the water heater. So once you get a full column of water coming out of that spigot, you turn that spigot off and then you can go to your breaker box and turn the power back on. Because if you turn the power on and there's no water in the tank, you will fry this element instantaneously. It's got to have water around it to keep it on the cool and make it heat. Always remember when working with electrical devices, make sure you turn off your breaker to that appliance. And then until next time, I'm Harold. 
And I'm Chloe. If you ever have any questions, email us at naturesfriendsinembarkmail.com. Until next time.